We continue following this breaking news out of Fort Lauderdale International Airport. You can see that FedEx jet that apparently skidded off the runway after a malfunction with the engine. The aircraft engine caught fire. The landing gear just collapsed on this. You see crews on this scene. Victor Kendo is in the newsroom with the latest. And Lauren Calvin, we have a chance now to bring in Stephen Lloyd, an aviation consultant, formerly with the FAA. Stephen, we just heard from the FAA. They told us that the landing gear collapsed and caught fire as the aircraft was rolling onto the runway. What would cause something like this to happen? Well, it's, it's hard to say at this point in time, Victor. Um, it, you know, it's too early. Uh, obviously, there will be the NTSB will be there and FAA officials and others to take a look at this and see what happened to that landing gear. Um, and at any time the landing gear on an aircraft this size and there's any kind of a malfunction, it could be catastrophic uh, when, that, when that occurs. And obviously, that's what occurred here. You have that in the combination of the engine striking the pavement. Um, I think the pilot did a pretty good job of keeping it uh, close to the runway. But, of course, you see the, uh, the ball of fire and with all that fuel going into the engine, that was uh, a pretty significant explosion. But uh, I think the pilot, did a, you know, the pilot did a pretty good job of keeping it close to the runway. It could have been much worse. That was my next question. It sounds like you are watching live with us here. So I wanted to ask you, what can a pilot do in that spot to make this situation uh, somewhat manageable? Well, when they don't know, and we don't know yet whether the pilot knew that there was a problem with the gear, um, he probably, you know, he may have had an all locked down uh, indication in the cockpit that tells him all of the wheels are down locked before they land. So he wouldn't have known until he actually touched down and felt something buckle underneath the left part of the aircraft. Um, it, it's one of those split second decisions they have to make. Obviously, he can't keep uh, rolling down the runway like that. So he really has to, you know, either ply brake or. Um, Try to slow the aircraft down, uh, keep it on the, in the runway environment or a safe place to come to a rest. Um, he's probably going pretty fast, so uh, I think he did a pretty good job. But it's just one of those split-second decisions you have to make. And in that case, I thought the pilot did a pretty good job. But we'll know more information here soon. And we'll be waiting for more information as well. Stephen Lloyd, thank you so much for making some time for us here. Lori and Calvin, as I send it back to you, again, another reminder here that Fort Lauderdale Hollywood in, air, Airport is now on a ground stop. No flights coming in or out. We're waiting for more information. As soon as we do, we'll bring it to you. Okay, there is a warning of debris on the runway and intersecting ones, so uh, they simply don't want to move planes around all of that debris. Okay, Victor, thanks a lot. Good.